With the n function in Excel, you can return a number based on a cell's value. So we'll see how to use that and we'll see some alternatives and also how you can use the n function to add a little hidden note in a cell. The n function, if we check cell C3, shows a zero. So when the value is text, you'll get a zero. This looks like a number, but the n function tells us that that is text as well. It's non-numeric, and if we click that cell, there's an apostrophe at the start of that number, so it is indeed text. This cell has a number, and that number is returned. If you use n with true, it forces that to a 1, and false becomes 0. A date shows its serial number, so all dates are based on a numbering system, and if a value is an error, that same error is returned. You can use other functions instead. The isNumber function will also check for a number in a cell, so it's returning true or false even for errors, so that's convenient sometimes. You don't have to check for an error result with is number, it's only going to be true or false. You can also use two minus signs in front of a number, so we can check and see if we get an error based on using two minus signs in front of the value of C3, and if it is an error, we'll get an empty string. So the value of C3 with two minus signs in front of it, if I press the F9 on my keyboard, it shows that's an error because there's text in cell C3. So I'll press escape to get out of that. So here it's returning an empty string because that was an error. It will force this text number though to become a real number and return that number and if there is an error, it would also return an error. So in that case, the if error result is the empty string. And as our final example here, you can use the n function to add a little note inside a cell. So we're summing two other cells, and then I've got a plus sign and the n function with text inside it. Just a reminder that store one closed in June. And because the result of n with text is zero. This won't change the result any, and we can only see it if we click on that cell and look in the formula bar. So you could use it as a little reminder to yourself of why you're using a particular function or a reminder about something on the worksheet.